Hello, engineers. Welcome back to our series, Mastering the CE Board Exam. We will answer another situation last April 2025. And problem states that the beam is loaded as shown with its moment diagram. So, nagbigay yung examiner ng illustration ng beam with its moment diagram. And meron itong prediction at A and values sa moment diagram. Meron ding mga distances sa beam. Okay? So let us solve number one. Determine the value of P2 in kilonewtons. We will solve P2 utilizing this illustration. To do that, we can take moment about point B, isolating this right section. So magkaroon dito ng moment, ito yung MB. Take note the moment at B that is negative 16 kilonewton meters. So let us take summation moment about B that is MB rotating clockwise. And yung P2 multiplied by its moment arm na 4 meters, it will also rotate clockwise. So plus P2 times 4 meters. This is equal to 0. Okay, simplifying, MB, uh, this is negative 16 kilonewton meters. We will transfer P2 on the other side, so magiging negative siya, no? Negative P2 times 4 meters. The negative signs will cancel, and we can now solve for P2. That is 16 divided by 4, so that is 4 kilonewtons. Okay? This is our answer for number 1. Letter C. Okay, number 2. Determine the value of P1 in kilonewtons. So, kanina, nasolve na natin yung P2, which is equal to 4 kilonewtons. We can solve for P1 using summation forces vertical. However, meron pa kayong isang unknown. So, dalawa na yung unknown, P1 and RB. So, we can cancel out RB by taking moment about point B. Para yung unknown natin ay P1 na lang. And we will consider the entire span. Kanina, di ba, we cut a section here to the right. This time we will consider the entire span. So let us take moment about B. Right. Let us first consider this force 2.5 kilonewton. This will rotate clockwise. So that is 2.5 kilonewtons multiplied by the moment R, which is 8 plus 4, or 12 meters. And next is this one, yung P1. P1 will rotate counterclockwise. So you will assume that it's negative kasi positive kanina yung clockwise. So minus P1 multiplied by the moment arm na 4 meters. And what else? Ito yung RB, makancel to, di ba? Kasi dito tayo ng moment. Ito na lang yung P2. So P2, moment about B, that is clockwise rotation. So plus P2 na 4 kilonewtons and moment arm na 4 meters. This is equal to 0. With this, simplifying, we can solve for P1. And P1 is equal to 11.5 kilonewtons. This is a final answer. Letter D. Last number, number three. Determine the maximum shear at B. This is 4 kilonewtons. And this is P1. P1 is 11.5 kilonewtons. So we can solve for RB using summation forces vertical equals zero. We have forces going up, that is 2.5 kilonewtons, plus Rb equal to forces going down, 11.5 plus 4. Solving for Rb, that is 13. Okay, well, that's the choices. 
So, sa board exam, that is possible nga the examiner will include this one, yung RB. And matutrap kayo if you answer this right ahead. So, to solve for the maximum shear at B, what you need to do is you draw the shear diagram. Let's do that. Una yung moment, but it's okay. We will draw the shear here, the bottom. Okay. The first is at the, we have 2.5 kilonewtons force going upward. So, this is your 2.5 kilonewtons. Then straight line lang, kasi wala naman uniform load or other loads present here. Straight line kapunta ang P1. Sa P1, we have 11.5. So this is going downwards. So the shear here would be uh, uh, 2.5. Ito siya. 2.5 minus 11.5. This is equal to negative 9 kilonewtons. So negative shear na. Then straight line ulit up until RB. Ito naman straight line up until RB. So at point B here, negative 9 kilonewtons pa rin siya. Plus, ito yung RB na nasolve natin. Oops, walang end. So this is 13 kilonewtons. So negative 9 plus 13, this is 4 kilonewtons. This is negative 9 is 13, which is equal to 4. And straight line up until P2. So P2 is downward force na 4 kilonewtons. 4 minus 4, this is 0. And based on this illustration, this is our point B. So, uh, VB, or the shear at B, that is equal to negative 9 kilonewtons. So we will take the absolute value that is positive 9 kilonewtons. Feel free to leave any comments down below and like and subscribe for more videos about the seaboard exam.